What's up, everyone? This is Z Street Gaming, bringing you the partner guide on the Catfish Fighter. Now, the Catfish Fighter, it's going to be part of a very specific team. Um, you're going to notice that it's a lot like the, the Red Drum Beater. And if anyone knows what the Red Drum Beater did, it its main ability, it, ha it has three different attacks, but its main ability for the Red Drum Beater was to give a shield. It would do a couple buffs and give one member of the party a shield. And that people learned how to use it in a very uh, like elite uh, formation with the blue boar. Uh, the green catfish fighter is very similar in the in that fact that it also does a shield. Except unlike the the red drum beater, every single time the catfish fighter attacks, at the end of his attack, he will give the lowest member of your party a shield. So it's a it's a huge, uh, I mean it, it's a huge asset. I didn't realize how good he was going to be until it was. I didn't record the actual match that that I fought that just caught my eye with him. Made me want to do the video. This is the second. I recorded the second and the third. I recorded half an hour to pick the best ones, but the best two are actually the second and third uh, attacks that I did. Watch what happens at the end of this. Uh, at the end of this battle, what happens to my team and how the, the the green catfish fighter literally carries the entire team. Now his attacks, I believe that the way you want to build him is you need high hit points on him. His attacks are hit points, hit point based. So the higher his hit points are, the more damage he does. So you want a very specific lineup for your green catfish fighter to be effective in your team. It's not really the team that you ha that you see up here on the screen. I just, you know, I probably should have actually built the right team, but I didn't. <laughs> Pretty smart, easy. All right, so. For the green catfish fighter, similar to the red drum beater, you will want uh, a hero partner like the blue boar. The blue boar is a defense partner that will have low, if it's built properly, it's built with six bull war pattern and with defense percentage up top. So you want low hit points, very high defense. That works perfectly with the green catfish fighter because after every single time he attacks, he is going to put a shield up on the lowest hit point member of your team so and now also keep in mind that you can actually predict which hero the enemy is going to attack uh, so the, the blue boar is blue and that means that any green hero will attack the blue heroes first based on the lowest hit point so if the, oh, the whole of the team is green every single person in the other team is going to be attacking the lowest hit point blue this is something that the advanced players they understand really well it's something that if you start focusing on right out right out of the gate that you can actually control who is going to attack who based on the hit points that you have on your team so just to like recap a little bit we'll start off with the blue boar which is a very high defense low hit point hero the green catfish fighter after every time he attacks he will put the shield up on the blue boar now that's just an example of uh, of an effective uh, teammate for the green catfish fighter. So now the rest of that particular team, you'd want to have two good, really good attackers. So um, let's say, for example, you have the green demon killer, and on the screen right now you have uh, Mr. Dagger. So you have the demon killer, you have daggers, you have the blue boar, and you have the green catfish uh, fighter. As your team is beating down the other team, they're going to be stuck attacking the blue boar who has a shield every single time they attack him because every single time the catfish fighter attacks he's going to throw a shield up on the lowest hit point player on your team so what that does is that prolongs the life of the boar because he's a very high defense uh hero so he's going to be able to take all these licks anyway and then on top of that he's got a shield and unlike the dr the drum beater this is a two round shield so if they don't damage uh, whatever hero has the shield on it enough it will last for two rounds which is even better than the drum beaters now you see right there that the red blonde she just took a hit and it lasted through that round into the next round then the, the catfish fighter attacks again and there goes the shield up again now the red drum beater it that's one of his three abilities is he'll do that one attack that has a bunch of buffs for your team and then he puts a shield up on top of it this the, the green catfish fighter throws a shield up every single time so based on that if you are fortunate enough to get the red drum beater that could be another partner that you use with the green catfish hunter 
and then you'll have the shield up from the catfish hunter on every every single time he's done attacking and then on every third second or third attack from the red drum beater he'll have another shield up i don't know if it stacks i'm gonna have to investigate that a little more i i don't collect information and then make videos i kind of just wing it as we all know anyone who's ever watched me in the past <laughs> so anyway I, I found this fascinating that here it is having a new a new hero that has such a a, a good ability that i feel is, is really overlooked i i haven't heard many people talking about it but now what i did right away is i'm working to get the green catfish hunter i'm he's going to be my next six star because I want to utilize this uh, defensive capability that he has right now. And I want to go over a couple of the other things. He has two attacks. The one that we've been hitting on the most is called the Catfish Asylum. And how they calculate the shield is that it's going to be 20% of his max hit point. So that right. So that's number one. We, we have something that's on max hit point for the Catfish Fighter. The other attack is called the Catfish Bash. And it actually damages the other team based on its max hit point as well. So you have two different attacks. One of them is a defensive maneuver, but one of them is an attack. Both based on the catfish's max hit point. So this is going to be very similar to the Blue Berserker where all of his healing capabilities are based on his max hit points. Uh, what I did with him was I have hit point percentage on his left hand, on his right hand, on his helmet. His, his plus on hit points is at 22,000. So that bumped up the the, uh, the Blue Berserker's um, healing capability to like six or 7,000 every time he heals. So that being said, Catfish Hunter is going to have the same type of results. If you get his hit points way up there by putting hit point percentage on his left hand, on his right hand, and on his helmet, you may be able to get his damage up for the Catfish Bash way up there because he's doing a, it's like 50% damage over his... It's uh, I don't know what it is, but it's a lot <laughs> And then you have the asylum which is 20% of his max hit points So let's say if you get his max hit points way up to 25,000 That's gonna be a big shield that you're gonna put on after every single attack I just can't stress that enough after every attack now if you've noticed in these attacks My my team got beat to death, but right at the very end the catfish fighter kept them alive by putting a shield on over and over. I wish I could have shown you the first attack because what he did was he everyone died except for him and he shielded himself and stayed alive the entire time. It was amazing. Uh, here's some green catfish hunter, the GCF tips. First, you locate the rare fishing holes and you have to get the, the shell and the heavy shell. That will get you the shards that will get you the catfish. You get the catfish fighter by collecting these shells and cashing them in that and you'll get these shards you get up to 100 shards and you get them um keep making them even after you after you get the green keep on making them uh you want the green the other ones don't have the same abilities uh, make sure you use the high defense low hit point hero with them that way you kind of control where the shield goes it goes on the lowest hit point so you want it to be the lowest hit point with that huge uh defense and finally try them with the red drum beater I'm, I'd be interested to know what exactly happens when you have the green catfish hunter and the red drum beater both together It might be something pretty awesome. Leave comments in the comment section if you figure this all out before I do Appreciate everyone for watching until next time. It's been easy